I think it's 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 really awful that a person is put in that position, and and, and more so what they're doing, and so many people there are. It's hard to tell, but tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, for example, suffering with multiple sclerosis or Crohn's disease, um, depression, anxiety, all sorts of uh, um, chronic conditions that cannabis can definitely help people with. Not everybody necessarily, but there's overwhelming um, uh, anecdotal evidence and increasing uh, 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 you know, properly researched evidence that cannabis can, can help people. And the idea that the state charges its police force with kicking their doors down, taking away their medicine, seizing the lights and the other equipment that they're using to grow their medicine, and convicting them because they are, in some cases, and I know an individual who literally can get up and walk out of his wheelchair once he's consumed some cannabis. This is a multiple sclerosis sufferer. Now, how can any civilised society countenance that? And yet we do. And that's, again, another example of the huge harm that is caused by drug prohibition. And it's important to focus on people who have medical conditions that cannabis can treat. But it's, it's very difficult to draw a line from somebody who has multiple sclerosis, which means that you will allow them uh, to grow their own cannabis and use it, and draw a line between somebody who simply wants to relax in the evening with some cannabis after a hard day's work, as many people do with uh, a, a glass of beer, a gin and tonic, a glass of wine. And that's why I don't think there is a point at which you can say, you can only apply it to some class of cannabis users. I think you have to say all, all adults should have legal access to cannabis. And everybody should have legal access to cannabis for medicinal purposes. And for me, that would be not a perfect solution, but a much better way of approaching this issue. When you think about a medicinal cannabis user who grows their own, they grow their own, not for profit. They grow their own because they grow the variety that through, through breeding of different, different types of cannabis plants, they produce a variety that is most beneficial for their condition. Now they are also not buying from the criminal market. So it's like a win-win. They're helping themselves with a treatment that makes their lives tolerable and they're also not feeding the criminal market. And yet what do we do? We want to lock them up for it. My experience as well from, from working with organisations with like Bud Buddies and following people around is that it's also an aspect of, for, for police officers that they're, they're people as well and they have normal lives like everybody else. And in those normal lives, disaster strikes sometimes. Um, and I've actually met um, a serving police officer who has a very ill child and is engaging in providing cannabis oil to their child. I mean, what, what do you think will be going through their, their head whilst they're, they're, they're doing that? What kind of problems does it throw up for them? Well, I think they'd be very concerned about losing their job um, because they're trying to save the life of their child. And when you put it like that, you can see how absurd it is. You know. A lot of the questions that arise about should I do this or should I do that, you realise that they're difficult to answer sort of honestly and um, kind of rationally when you've got prohibition in place. If you didn't have prohibition in place, then there would be much more opportunity for real experimentation, real testing of the potential benefits of cannabis as a treatment, um, possibly a cure for some conditions. Um, and then people like this police officer wouldn't be worried that he's going to be found in possession of um, cannabis oil and probably lose his job. And that, that is the unjustness. It's just one example, if you like, the harms that can be caused. 
by drug prohibition.